Prophet T.B. Joshua, speaking forth God's word, armed with the name of Jesus Christ, the lame walk, captives are set free, and healing comes to those riddled with sickness and bound by disability. And now witness true freedom in Christ as the Prophet encounters this man. Hey! You look strange here. Come on. You look strange. There is a spirit woman inside you. You are a man, but you are a woman. You are a man, you are a woman. You are a man, you are a woman. Who are you? Who are you? Come on! Je vois un homme, je vois une femme dans le même être. Shut up! Shut up! La main du Seigneur est en train de briser les chaînes du diable qui tourmentent la vie de cet homme. You are being real. Yes. Mm, you have the spirit of woman inside you. Yes, men of God. Mm, and you keep fighting this spirit. Yes, men of God. But that's you, true. You, you know you're a man, but there's a spirit, a woman that is talking through yes, you. Yes, that's true, men of God. And when you move, you walk like a woman too. Have it? Yes, men of God. And you love, but you don't like it, but that woman keep talking, keep acting, keep looking, keep smiling, keep looking. If I'm right, yes, men of God, you are free. Come on! Thank you. Let me just declare that this man has the spirit of a woman in him, and that he controls. It's the deliverance of this spirit from the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Look at him. He is fighting a strange spirit, and that spirit, you know, is a man, but there's a woman living inside him. The woman will be laughing instead of him to laugh. But it is woman appearing. You see, when he move, you see woman move. When he smile, woman smile. But he know it's a man. But there's a woman inside that is doing everything for him. It's free. It's a simple thing. It's only you recognize that spirit. It's a spirit. You can be a man, but you see something enter you that acts like a woman. But you know you're a man. But when you smile, you smile. People admire you as a woman. But you know you're a man. It's a spirit. It's tormenting. You're free. How do you feel now? Tell me. I feel relieved now that, that is, I'm delivered. You feel relieved? Yes. That's... Being that talking to you, how do you feel? Is it still appear there? I don't feel anything anymore. You don't feel that being again? Yes. Sit down there, let them lose your air. Can somebody help me lose the air? <laughs> it's part of freedom. Finally, you can go and cut it later. But it must be loose immediately. <laughs> If I'm not attend to this brother here, it will be difficult for me to attend to this woman. Why evil spirit is here, and the work of evil spirit is this. There is a difference between evil spirit and the work of evil spirit. You know that? You know Holy Spirit give back to Spirit of God. You know that? The oil you receive, anointing oil, you receive it from the Spirit of God, from the Holy Spirit. It gives bad. So in the same day, this evil spirit, he has his own war. His war is this sickness, disease. It's not possible for any prophet to leave the evil spirit and now want to heal people. Okay, Satan is sitting down here. Satan himself is sitting. And then he gives bad to those evil spirits to go and do all sorts of things. And you are not delivered evil spirit. But Satan is sitting down. Does it make sense? Eh? Satan, Satan will not allow. Even if you allow, he will destroy you. Oh, my brother, you are my friend. Very handsome boy. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you, okay? You are from where? South Africa. Okay, South Africa. Thank you.
My name is Eugene Bonama. I'm from South Africa. Uh, during last week's service, man of God, as he was uh, uh, praying for everyone in church, he just came straight to me and then he said that I had a spirit of a woman inside me and that I was raped, which is true. Um, it all started uh, at, at a very young age. I was six by the time it started, but then I didn't really pay much of an attention to it okay. because I was very young at that age. Until when I was 15, that was when I got my new phone. Then I started browsing through the net. Then I came across uh, the uh, pornography. But then the strange thing about that was that I was watching man-to-man -man, uh, pornography. So it went on like that until when I was 18. I was doing my first year by that time. Uh, and I was staying at, at, at the campus residence by that time. So I had to move out. I lied to my mom. I told her that I was staying at the campus residence, where else I moved out from that campus residence. I rented a flat off campus. When I was 18, that was when I registered my, I created my Facebook account. And then also I downloaded a, a, an application where it's a, it's a dating site where you, you interact with different men. So I'll interact with them and then we'll make some arrangements. I meet them, I sleep with them. I'm the one to start the conversation. I'll just go through their Facebook accounts and then start the conversation from there. The type of clothes I wore, because when I was at campus, I was a different person. When I'm at campus, I wear different clothes. I don't wear this type of clothes. I usually wear this type of clothes when I'm home. Whenever I go to a, a clothing store, I'll go to ladies' department and then buy female clothes. Then again, I'll go to a, a, a gents' department to buy clothes so that whenever I go home, can be able to wear those clothes because, yeah, I was just being led on by that spirit. So did your parents actually uh, notice that what was happening? No. Immediately after that spirit of the woman entered me, I started uh, uh, going out to clubs, drinking. Okay, when I'm at campus, I have to walk like a female, but then, yeah. Can you explain to us so that people can learn? How did you to move then or smile then like as, as, as a result of that spirit of woman? That is the brother just demonstrating in a nutshell how we used to walk and move in a feminine manner that actually attracted a fellow men to him as man of god said during his prophetic message last week sunday when the brother was being delivered that he had the spirit of woman and as a result when he laughs he laughed like a woman when he walked he walked like a woman and that is what he has actually just demonstrated okay during 2015 I, as i was coming back from the club i was drunk by that time then I bumped into a, a guy on my way back to the flat. And then he asked if I could come with him to his flat. And then he lured me into a, a, a group of guys. That was when I got gang raped. So uh, since then, what's hap what has been happening in your life as, ever since you went through that uh, terrible experience? Ever since that rape, everything just went from bad to worse. And how did this problem affect uh, your education? Because you told us that you were in uh, university then. How did it affect your studies? During that time, I can't cope at, at, with my schoolwork, and I was so depressed. So one of the psychologists uh, prescribed some uh, depression 
tablets for me. So that means this problem has affected you uh, in many diverse ways to the extent that the brother said it's affected his studies. You can see him actually shedding tears of joy because you, must, you can imagine what he must have gone through at that very tender age uh, and being possessed with that kind of spirit. But today we are rejoicing because Jesus Christ has taken away his past. Uh, so, you, so all this happened all through your life, but at what point did you now know about the Synagogue Church of All Nations and you decided to come? It was my mom who introduced me to Synagogue Church of All Nations. Really, I didn't know about this church until my mom introduced me to, to this church. So your mom actually told yeah. you to come? Hmm. Yes. So you, on, on last week's Sunday, we saw how you were seated amongst the congregation and the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, came and laid hands on you. Can you share with us what was your experience on that Sunday? I felt like that spirit was leaving me. Yeah. And we saw that after that deliverance, man of God uh, instructed uh, that that air should be loosed. What did you, what, what, what's the, what was your feeling or experience as that air was being taken off? I felt relieved knowing that I'm delivered hmm. from, from that spirit. Hmm. Yeah. That, is, that, is, that is the brother we are seeing on the screen of the television. We know that when Jesus Christ delivers us, he delivers us completely and he delivers us effectually. All those uh, lifestyle he was living in the past as a result of that uh, spirit of woman he was possessed of uh, that led him to meet with men like himself or put on funny air style. Immediately that spirit was removed. You can see the air being loosed. And the brother we are seeing right here in front of us, we can see a perfectly normal, healthy brother to the glory of God. So go ahead with your testimony. And immediately after the de deliverance, I demanded my head to be removed. Yeah, you can see. So that is why we are seeing, uh, uh, the person we are seeing right now, we cannot see that funny hair style again. So how do you feel now, looking normal, with your normal hairstyle? How do you feel? feel relieved now. So what are the changes you have seen or noticed in your life ever since that deliverance last week Sunday? Uh, ever since the deliverance, last Sunday deliverance, I deactivated my Facebook account. I've even changed my SIM card, so I'm no longer communicating with those people. Oh, that hallelujah. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. My advice to those who are having the same spirit as me is that from the, uh, the book of Romans, verse 2, it says, Don't copy the customs, the customs or the behavior of this world. But rather, you should allow God to transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Because I, I know that along your way, you, you are going to meet the people who are going to deceive you and tell you that you cannot change. You were born like that, of which it is not true. You just have to invite God into your heart and let him do the rest because you cannot do it on your own. Amen. So once again, let us put our hands together for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Eugene Monam. I'm 25 years old. I'm from South Africa. Thank you very much. Could you just share your testimony with us? I'm here to give thanks to Prophet Tip to God for using Prophet T.B. Joshua from delivering me from the Spirit. That made me have an affection for men like me. Since I've been delivered, I no longer have an affection for men like me. I thank God for delivering me from that Spirit. Amen. We thank God Almighty and we rejoice with you greatly. And right now, uh, the man of God, uh, in a usual kind gesture, knows for sure that you need to maintain your salvation and also you need something to live with. Man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, alongside with Humanity TV partners all over the world, so we should give you the sum of $1,000 as to, to support you.
I think a man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua and Emmanuel partners all over the world for blessing me with this sum of $1,000. I appreciate it a lot. I didn't expect this. May God continue to bless Prophet T.B. Joshua and Emmanuel TV partners all over the world. We thank uh, the man of God, Prophet TV Joshua, and Emmanuel TV partners all over the world for supporting you with the sum of $1,000 to help you back to your country. My advice for them is to stay with God and trust in God. We thank the Lord Almighty for what He has done in your life. I will pray as you go and make the word of God the standard for your life. Your blessing, your breakthrough remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.